Hello guys, it's Pay975 and uh, there was a user that uh, sent me a message asking me to do tutorials on uh, setting up emulators so I've decided to do that actually but this tutorial is going to be a, a little bit different I haven't uh, researched anything or gone through any of the files in here or, or anything I, I'm going through this as if you were to go through this um, I haven't done anything at all, I haven't looked up on how to set this up so uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the SNES emulator Z NES if that's how you pronounce it uh, on your computer so um, I'm not really sure where you would get this emulator legally I think it, I think it's legal to have an emulator I'm not going to tell you where I got the ROM for it but the emulator I got off of coolrom.com simple just go there top down bar look for super nes emulator well super yeah emulator anyways uh download that this is version 151 i'm opening the folder this is my first time doing it um and i'm supposedly thinking you would click this z s n e s w dot e x e file just double click that and um okay one time user reminder please be sure to read the documentation included with ZSNES for important information and answers to common problems and questions play space for to proceed so this is completely different for me I uh, this is weird actually um I'm okay well I'm gonna go to configuration and I'm gonna go to uh, options and I'm just going to read uh, enable MMX support uh, I'm leaving that checked pause EMU and background um, yes this would mean if I were to click out here then it will pause but it's not pause because this is the uh, dialogue this is the dialogue box option thing um, increase EMU priority no I'm going to leave that unchecked I don't think this is really uh, really heavy to run on my system so I don't need to increase the priority on it disable power management uh, that's with if you run a, a battery on your laptop and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna uncheck that because I already have something set up with my power the GFX engines news use new GFX sure uh, screenshots don't care I'm not gonna take screenshots wrong enable IMPS IPS auto patching show ROM info on load uh, I would leave all those checked uh, show FES counter on emulator load sure okay let's see what we're I'll just leave that show clock uh, I have a clock down here uh, messages leave those unchecked go back to configuration and uh, video uh, I'm just gonna leave it right here filters vsync um vsync maybe if your computer is really good and the rom is running super fast i would enable vsync that way you could get a steady uh frames per second and make sure the rom isn't running like twice the speed as it's supposed to be so i should have enabled that which i am going to right now uh, this is just your screen modes. Um, I'm gonna leave it as is 640 by 480. Uh, it's really slow for me actually, so I think I uh, need to do something else. But uh, sound, disable SPC emulation. I think uh, I think I will just leave everything as is because uh, and if you want sound and if you don't, just uh, click enable sound to take it off and all that is gone. But I'm gonna leave it. Go back to configuration and go to devices. No, that that, that was the wrong thing. Um, devices. Uh, uh mouse. Game mouse mouse. I'm just gonna leave that as is. Go to input, keyboard. Um. Uh, reading this, I'm going to set up down, left, and right as the WASD. 
So I'm guessing you would just click on up and then click the key you want. Um, the mouse is very sensitive in this program. S for down, left for A, A for left, excuse me, and D for right. Start. Um, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna hit enter for start. For return key. Uh, select. I'm gonna hit backspace. Uh, A A B. Oh, this is really dumb. Oh, you know, actually, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna up for the up key. Oh, down for the down key. Left for the left key and right for the right key. And start select. I'm gonna leave the same. A I'm gonna have as Z. B I'm gonna have as X. And then Y and R I'm gonna have as C. I'm sorry. X I'm gonna have as C and Y I'm gonna have for V and then L and R probably A and then S. That way all these keys are in the same area. I can just hop to them. So the Z is A, X is B, C is X, V is Y, L is A and S is R. Uh, turbo, I wouldn't mess with that. Diagonals, um, wouldn't mess with that. Game specific, uh, leave that unchecked. Turbo at 30 uh, hertz, nope. Um, I'm going to leave that as is because I'm not sure what that is. And um, cheat, oops. Cheat. Not going to do any cheats. Net play, I didn't know you could play uh, on the internet with the uh, the simulator and miscellaneous keys I'm just gonna leave as is so I think in that short amount of time we set up how to play how to uh, do a uh, your SNES emulator so I'm gonna load the game that I want to load and I download a Super Mario World um, well actually I'm gonna drag the file. I didn't drag the file over here, so I'm gonna. The mouse in this program is so sensitive, but I'm gonna close out of that real quick. <clears throat> and then I grab this. I'm not gonna tell you where it's illegal. You need to copy it from your original uh, cartridge, um, or uh, if you're bad, then do it illegally. But um, I copy that over there and I'm going to open back the program again and I'm going to hit load maybe and it says Super Mario World at SMC um, I'm going to load and it is working I switched my uh, arrow keys. It's not WASD, but uh, it's the arrow keys. Um, everything seems to be working. The frame option is in the bottom left. I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to end this right here. Hopefully, I showed you the basics of setting up uh, Z SNES, the Super Mario, not the Super Mario, the Super Nintendo emulator uh, for this. If you thought this was helpful, then please leave a like. If you thought it was not helpful, then please explain why in the comments. Um, I'm going to have this as a series probably and do other emulators and try to uh, set it up. But I'm going to do it in this format as to where I haven't looked through anything. So I'm going to go through it blindly and just go through each option. You know, this should just help my users as uh, troubleshoot some options. You know, just go through all of them and see what does what. Like I just did in this video, but uh, thanks anyways. This is Pain on Seven Five, and that is my alarm that just went off. But uh, thank you again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.